Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 145 Part 2. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and download the workbook Tr Magic Trick 133 to 145. Hey, in this trick we want to see how to do mode if. We know there's functions like sum if and count if. And for standard deviation and average, you could do a pivot table or subtotals and uh, do a multiple condition for standard deviation. But there's not a good way of doing mode. Now, just a moment ago in uh, trick 45.1, we saw how to do this for the median. But here in this one, I want to show you the problem with a sum array formulas when calculating the mode. So, for example, there are multiple ways to add with an array. Let's look at one that I commonly do in videos. I'm going to Alt equals. I'm going to type a parentheses, and I'm going to get this range right here and say, is that equal to this? Then I'm going to close parentheses times, open parentheses, and is this range equal to toy? Right. So we're asking a bunch of true falses. And then close parentheses, and then finally times that whole range right there. Now, the way this is going to work is it'll true trues and falses times trues and falses. But this whole thing right here, if we were to highlight it and uh, hit F9, we can see that there's some zeros and ones. When it multiplies these over here, it'll give us an array of zeros and one. I'm going to control Z and just show you that that actually does happen. So then I'm going to hit uh, F9. You can see there's 0, 78. Well, for some function, it doesn't care because adding zeros to 78, 32, and 2 still gives us the correct answer. But if we were to do that for mode, since it looks at all the values and pig figures out the one that occurs most frequently, the answer would be um, 0. I'm going to Control Z and just show you that that's true. Because with uh, constructs with arrays, you can just change the uh, function here, median. And then uh, I'm going to Control Shift Enter. Now you see that zero. That's not the answer. The actual median here is if we look for toys. I mean the mode is the one that occurs most frequently, which is two. So now I'm going to hit F2. I'm going to change it to sum. And I'm going to Control Shift Enter and see you actually get the right answer, which is twelve. Right? That's how come you can't use that construct. So when doing things like median or mode, you can't use this is a Boolean true false array formula. So we're going to have to do something slightly differently. And we did this in the last video. If this range right here is equal to this, then, and we do our second if, this range is equal to this. So those are the two conditions. Then we want this. Now this construct, when we close parentheses, uh, and close parentheses three of them, you can always tell because the black one comes on the end and that matches the one at the beginning. If I Control Shift Enter, it gives me 12. If I were to hit uh, F2, um, it, so that gives us the right one, and it will also give us the the right one if we change this to this sum part to mode because it is not um, giving us those zeros. So I'm going to scoop this out, highlight that, Control C, hit Escape, because I don't want to wreck that array. And then I'm going to click in this cell, F2, Control V, and then double click the sum and type M-O-D-E, Control Shift Enter. And so that array construct gave us uh, two. Now let's run Formula Auditor, the keyboard shortcut Alt. TUF, Alt Tuf, T U F, gives us the formula evaluator. And we want to see, compared to the last array formula, how this one doesn't give us a bunch of zeros. Evaluate. See, it looks there. False, 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 false. True, true, true. So there's a, a few of them. And then evaluate. It gives us the next ones. False, false, false. True, true, true. So then it gives us, it combines them. And then here it gives us a false of 28, a false, false, false of 28. But when it evaluates it, it's going to uh, look at all these falses and those numbers, evaluate, and it will actually just look at the numbers and give us the 2, which is what we want. So that's how to do mode if. All right, see you next trick.